Kuruse. He is Vice President of International Affairs at Lyon 3 University. He is a lawyer and uh, uh, specialized in law in, on health issues. He is also responsible for master program in law in health. And we have a privilege to work with him since years with the French University in Armenia, who is also our associate dean from Lyon 3 University. So the floor is yours, dear uh, Guillaume. Okay, thank um, Arik and good morning or good afternoon everybody, your colleagues. I'm going to share uh, my screen. Normally it works. Yeah, can you see my uh, screen and my presentation? Very well. Yes, okay. it's okay. So perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, so I have uh, 40 minutes to, to present uh, to everybody in the, the French uh, doctoral education system. So for sure, I will uh, summarize and I will uh, go uh, direct to the goal and to, I, I won't give you too much details. Uh, if you need it, I can uh, transfer my uh, PPT presentation. So uh, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, well, uh, what is the goal of this presentation? First, I will uh, uh, explain you what we are going to, to talk about. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to explain you um, the global um, framework of the doctoral education in France, the global spirit of our organization, uh, whatever the discipline, whatever the um, academic uh, fields. Uh, we will see uh, sure that uh, there is sometimes differences uh, between the academic fields, but uh, we are going to, to, to talk about the global principles, uh, the global uh, ideas, um, but uh, we won't talk about uh, specific rules uh, because uh, we have uh, uh, some differences between uh, academic fields, as I said before, but we have also uh, uh, specific rules uh, regarding the different kind of universities and doctoral schools. Uh, so I won't talk about this. Maybe we will talk about this uh, during the next uh, seminar, maybe in, in Lyon in France. And uh, um, the presentation, uh, the PPT presentation will be more accurate than the oral presentations that I'm going to do. Uh, first, um, I will uh, I will take briefly a few minutes to explain you the, the context of the high, higher education uh, system in, in France. Uh, it's close to what we can find in uh, other European countries, and I think it's not so different uh, that we can find uh, in uh, other uh, countries outside Europe. Um, as you know, doctorate is a higher university degree, higher education system degree, after uh, three steps. Uh, for sure, the first step is a bachelor with uh, three years after high school diploma. The master is five years, it means two years after the bachelor, and the doctorate is eight years. Uh, so it's a classical system, it's not surprising for you. And doctorate is certified by a nationally uh, recognized degree, uh, for sure too. Um, doctorate is uh, issued by uh, a higher education institution who has to be authorized uh, by a Ministry of Higher Education and Research. Uh, we can find a doctorate both in university, I mean public university, or in private school. In France, when you say university, it uh, automatically means public university because we, we don't put the name of university for, pu for private uh, organizations. If we say private, it's private school. Uh, so it's a, a diploma after three years or more of an academic or applied scientific research world. And as you know, uh, this uh, diploma is validated after uh, a thesis defense after uh, um, public explanation and uh, uh, exchanging with uh, with a jury. I will talk about this after. Uh, just uh, the next, the last slide for the context in France in the in this current academic year, we have uh, just to see the the effective. 
uh, we have 1,674,700 uh, students in the total. In this total, uh, for the undergrade, undergraduate students, we have 1,003,300 students. For the master students, more specifically, we have, as you see, uh, 612,700. And in this total uh, of uh, students, we have uh, more specifically uh, 58,700 PhD students. But the, the main idea you have to, to remember is that this number is decreasing. Uh, maybe we can talk after about the reasons explaining why uh, we are decreasing. Uh, so we are going to talk about uh, three main questions. Uh, the first one is about uh, the definition and the purpose of the doctorate. What is exactly a doctorate in the French doctoral education system? And what are the goals of this uh, doctorate, of this diploma? The second question will be uh, about the actors, the stakeholders. Uh, it means uh, who uh, is involved in the in the doctoral education, and the third and last one will be about the the modalities the modalities of the doctorate. It means not the what, not the why, not the who, but the how of this uh, doctoral education system. So first, what about the definition and the purpose of the doctorate? Uh, it's not, I think, uh, different in other European countries or out Europe countries. Uh, the, but the doctorate is uh, the scientific training in research uh, with the support of the thesis director and uh, for sure also a research laboratory. Uh, but there is not only this uh, scientific side, there is also a professional integration because uh, I will explain it to you. We have also uh, um, a lot of trainings uh, to prepare the PhD students uh, to the profession, professional integration and not only the scientific and theoretical uh, aspects or uh, skills. Um, there's uh, two kinds of careers after this, uh, this diploma. For sure, the academic career, if you want to become teacher or researcher or only researcher, but there's also, uh, it's uh, the, the majority for the, the statistics, uh, people who go uh, working in company in the research and development uh, departments or consulting and management. Uh, it means that uh, in France, uh, but I think it's the same outside, uh, we don't have only uh, people who make uh, academic career after obtaining the, the, the doctorate diploma. Um, more accurately, who are now the doctoral actors? Who are the doctoral stakeholders? Uh, there's a lot of ones. For sure, there's a PhD students and the thesis director, but there is also the research laboratory and sometimes there is a company. When, when the, the diploma, uh, doctorate diploma is done uh, in company, I will talk about this after more accurately. And there is also a doctoral school and the defense committee for, for finishing. I will uh, explain more accurately these different actors. Uh, so first, what about the PhD students? Um, I will explain it more uh, accurately after, but uh, you have to know that we don't have age requirements. Whatever your age you are, you have, sorry, uh, you can begin and you can follow, you can obtain a PhD diploma. Uh, there is not a um, condition about this. Uh, there is not a requirement about nationality uh, too. Uh, and sometimes, but not always, there is not requirement about funding. Uh, it depends on um, academic fields. In some academic fields, you don't need it, um, mainly in humanities and social sciences. Uh, otherwise, uh, in, uh, whereas in, uh, in um, hard sciences, uh, academic fields, uh, sometimes funding are required. Uh, specifically, if you don't have funding, you can't register, you, you can register yourself. And uh, there is about this PhD student condition for registration, preparation and obtain, of obtaining the doctorate diploma, but we will see it after uh, more uh, specifically. Uh, what about the thesis director now? Um, 
sure the PhD student is placed under his or her control and her or his responsibility, but the main question is uh, who can be a thesis director. Uh, for sure, if you, if you want to have a, a high quality of uh, doctoral education, you have to control, you have to make regulation of uh, who can be a thesis director. In the French system, uh, there is only, there is exception, but I won't talk about this now. It's mainly full professor and uh, senior lecturer or assistant professor. Uh, but uh, the full professor, all the full professor can be a thesis director. But for the senior lecturer or assistant professor, they have to have uh, what we call HDR. It's accredi accreditation to supervise research. Uh, it means that uh, not all the senior lecturer, not the all assistant professor can be thesis director, okay? Um, and uh, sometimes there is uh, other possibilities. Um, we can have in the doctoral education in France uh, a core direction. Core direction, it's not, um, it's not uh, like uh, we can have in the international uh, core direction. It's not... Uh, international uh, joint uh, program. It's uh, only, for example, if you have a, if you have a, a subject, a topic about uh, the links between, uh, for example, health flow and business flow, uh, it could be a problem to have only a director in health flow. It could be really relevant and useful to have also a director in business flow. So it's this kind of system. You have a co-direction inside the same university, or between two French universities, okay? So there's no international uh, dimension here. Um, another rule really important about the um, thesis director is that in the global framework, we have a maximum number of PhD students who can be supervised by the same thesis director. The, the number, I can't give it to you now because as a national framework, don't fix the global number. Uh, it's up to the universities or each university or each doctoral school to fix specifically regarding their needs as a maximum number. Uh, just for an example, in the doctoral school in my university, the maximum number is 10, okay? But it could be more, it could be less uh, regarding uh, each cases in a doctoral school, uh, uh, in academic fields or in universities. But in the global framework, uh, there is this limitation uh, because they think that uh, you can't be a good P uh, thesis director if you have too much PhD student to, to supervise and to, to work with. Uh, but it, it, it depends of uh, academic fields also. Um, a specific uh, note about uh, the international uh, jointly supervised doctorate. I was uh, telling a few minutes before that it was different, uh, that the core direction. Uh, it's not a core direction, but it's possible to, to have uh, an international uh, supervised doctorate system. Uh, and you will have uh, the French uh, thesis director and uh, um, a foreigner, uh, uh, international thesis director in other university in other country. It's like a co-tutel, more or less. Uh, it's really useful uh, for, uh, for uh, the, um, the PhD students who can be uh, mobile. And it's really useful for the, the doctoral school who uh, increase uh, the, the international uh, side of uh, his, uh, of its activities. Uh, sure, there's a lot of condition, but it's not really useful to, to to, to develop it now. Um, also for the thesis director, uh, what is the content of uh, his or her mission? He has or she has to, to, to control, to regulate the, the activities inside of uh, the, the PhD student work. What about the research laboratory now? Um, it's important to know that uh, it's not uh, an individual um, link between the PhD student and the um, thesis director. Uh, this link is inside the global uh, 
relation uh, under supervision uh, under supervision of a research laboratory. It means that uh, the research laboratory is here for uh, uh, helping the PhD student, for helping the thesis director too. And uh, the, the, the goal is uh, to help him or her to integrate uh, himself or herself, uh, accompaniment of uh, the, 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 the work. And uh, most than that, it's really important to help the PhD student to, to make valorization of his work. If I have uh, defended a wonderful thesis, but if uh, nobody knows that uh, it, this work has been done, it's not, uh, it's not efficient. So uh, the research laboratory and the thesis director are here for helping the PhD student to valorize his or her whole work. Uh, in some cases, there's also the company who is involved but it's uh, only in the case of a CIF contract. A CIF contract, I will talk about this because it's a, a specific kind of uh, funding uh, by the public authorities and the company authorities. Uh, in this case, the PhD student is employed by a company and he, work, uh, he works or she works in the company, but I will explain it before, uh, after, sorry. Uh, Another stakeholder is the doctoral school. Uh, the doctoral school is not uh, independent. The doctoral school is attached to uh, the higher education institution. And uh, the doctoral school uh, is uh, uh, involved to, to supervise uh, and to prepare the, the professional integration, uh, specifically with a lot of trainings. And I will explain the kind of trainings after. Um, the doctoral school is also here to, to federate a set of uh, research laboratories uh, with a lot of trainings, as I said before. And uh, just more information to, to tell you that uh, the doctoral schools can be co-accredited. Um, it means that uh, uh, doctoral schools can be uh, uh, enacted with only one university or uh, it could be uh, unique with a, a different uh, higher education institution. It depends on what, what they need. Uh, about the defense committee, I will explain it after uh, when I will explain the, the rules of uh, defense in general. Uh, the third question and the last question, but the more uh, accurate question is about the PhD modalities. modalities. Uh, we have four kind of conditions in the in the system condition of registration of financing of preparation preparation and of obtaining what about the registration first to explain it we have to distinguish the first year of registration and the following uh, years uh, because uh, during the first year the conditions are not the same uh, comparing uh, the other years of uh, registration in the doctorate education for the first year, uh, the doctoral uh, candidates have to hold a master or equivalent degree. Uh, but uh, if he don't have or she don't doesn't have the a master, uh, she or he have to to attest uh, special abilities to research, special special skills to research. Um, you can make a PhD uh, in classical lear learning or in lifelong learning. It means that uh, you can't be a professional working in a company, uh, not uh, talking about the CIF contract, uh, or you can be a classical student, uh, uh, 20, 27, 20, 25 years old, uh, but uh, there is, as I said before, not age requirements. It means that uh, there is not professional uh, requirement that you, you can have a professional life or not. It's not a problem to make a, a thesis. Um, there is a, a doctoral uh, derogation uh, to, 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 to register. Uh, if you don't have the master or equivalent degree, you can um, attest that uh, all the professional skills you, you have during your professional life is equivalent to a master degree or equivalent degree. Uh, it's what we call a validation of prior life learning. 
um, when all the conditions are satisfied, uh, the registration is pronounced by uh, the head of the institution, which means, for example, the president for the universities, uh, after a proposition of the doctoral school director, and uh, after the thesis director opinion too. It means that the registration is pronounced only if all the stakeholders of the doctoral, educa doctoral education are uh, okay for that. And uh, sure, uh, uh, all the stakeholders uh, are looking for the specific quality of this, of the, of the, the candidates. Um, after the first year, there is the next year for the registration. And um, you have to, to renew uh, at the beginning of each academic year uh, all your, uh, your administrative condition. Uh, but uh, is, uh, the, the, the condition you have to, to fill are uh, less uh, administrative uh, exigence than the, in, the, in the first year. Uh, but the, the main idea is that you need to obtain the the authorization of the thesis director to renew uh, your registration. And after the first registration, uh, you have to, to obtain the, the authorization of a monitoring committee, uh, who is a specific organization, but I will explain it after. Uh, now, the condition of finan financing. Uh, as I said before, there is no uh, um, obligation of phoning uh, in general, but sometimes in the specific academic fields, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, ob an obligation to have this. Uh, but uh, to have this uh, financing, you have the different system. The first system in France is uh, what we call the doctoral contract, which is a, a three years contract between a public institution, only public, of higher education for sure, and the PhD students. Uh, it allows uh, to the PhD students uh, more or less uh, 1,600 uh, euros uh, per month, which is a good, good uh, amount. And uh, er everybody, in fact, can, uh, can candidate to a doctoral contract uh, because uh, all the PhD students in enrolled in the first year of their thesis uh, can uh, candidate uh, if they are not uh, enrolled uh, for less than uh, six months. But there is no age requirements another time. Uh, we have, uh, you have some activities to do uh, when you have uh, the doctoral contract for sure. There is a teaching uh, thing, activities, scientific activities. Um, there is also consistency of expert submission uh, with uh, which is possible to do. Um, another, the second uh, manner to, to found uh, a PhD is uh, what I mentioned before, is uh, the CIFR contract. Uh, CIFR, it's a French word for industrial agreements for training through research. It's proposed by uh, a national agency, public agency, which, which is called ANRT. Uh, it's a national agency for research and technology. Uh, it allows us to, to, for people who have master degree, uh, to to be uh, founded for three years uh, during uh, he or her doctorate. Uh, there is no nationality requirement. There is no age requirement. Uh, but uh, the the main condition is to prepare the PhD in. A company, not in a research laboratory only. Uh, sure, there's a link between the company and the research laboratory, but uh, the, 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 the main time of the PhD student is in the company, not in the research laboratory. Uh, so uh, the PhD student in the CIF contract uh, case um, have to be, uh, uh, to be involved uh, in the company uh, making the, the link with the research laboratory, uh, as I said before, he will um, or she will uh, benefit uh, from the, the an employment contract. I, I mean, is uh, or she employed by the company with a, a monthly gross salary of more or less two thousand euros, and the company uh, receive a, a lump lump sum annual grants 
from uh, public uh, French authorities, authorities, which is uh, more or less uh, 14,000 euros each year. Each year. Uh, so it's, uh, it's an interesting uh, system because uh, each year in France, we have more or less uh, 1,500 uh, agreements granted and we have uh, this kind of uh, quantity of SIF uh, uh, contracts. Uh, it's, we, we, can, uh, we can hope more for sure, but it's interesting to see that uh, it uh, increases uh, the link between companies and uh, universities. And it's really useful for PhD students to, to find money to make uh, um, their, their thesis. Uh, and uh, for um, the last slide about funding, uh, you can see that uh, we have other funding sources with uh, research organization, local authorities, uh, different kind of uh, private foundation or private association. Uh, it's, um, there's a lot, there's a big diversity of possibilities, but it's uh, sometimes uh, hard for the PhD candidate to find it because uh, it's not, uh, there is not a centralization uh, of uh, all these offers. Uh, the first, uh, the, the last point is about the condition of preparation of the doctoral uh, uh, diploma. Um, the doctoral school uh, prepare a lot of condition for following and uh, supervising of the PhD students. Um, we have uh, what we call the doctoral charter. The doctoral charter is uh, signed between the doctoral school and the PhD students. And the doctoral charter um, have uh, specific content with uh, modalities of uh, mediation in case of conflict between the PhD students and the thesis director. And uh, there's a lot of uh, things prepared and uh, um, uh, prevested to, 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 to organize and to regulate uh, the doctoral uh, uh, work during uh, three years or more. Uh, we, in this doctoral chapter, we, uh, we fix uh, the, all the working conditions. Is it a full-time job or a part-time job? Uh, what is the professional status of the PhD student? Uh, what is the research project schedule? Uh, what are the modalities of the supervision by the PhD uh, by the, uh, thesis director? What are the material conditions? Uh, what are the modalities of integration? Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of information included in this uh, doctoral charter. And um, what about the training now? Um, as I said before, it's really important to prepare the PhD students to increase uh, his or her skills in the, in, the, in the PhD and to prepare his uh, or her professional integration. And these uh, trainings are uh, uh, here specifically uh, for the professional education, integration, and the, the scientific skills. So it means that during the uh, doctoral uh, preparation, uh, the PhD student is, uh, has to follow up a lot of trainings programs. Uh, for, for example, to promote interdisciplinarity or to promote uh, scientific skills or scientific culture or uh, about uh, research ethics or scientific integrity or um, a lot of uh, skills to maybe to write scientific article in the international review. And uh, it uh, allows to the PhD student to obtain a lot of credits and um, these credits are uh, mandatory uh, before the thesis uh, defense. Uh, for example, uh, you have to obtain maybe in some doctoral schools 180 uh, credits, uh, otherwise you can't, uh, you can't defend uh, your, uh, your, um, your thesis. You are not allowed uh, to, 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 to make the PhD uh, thesis, uh, defense. Um, before I was mentioning the moni monitoring committee, the monitoring committee was created a few years ago. It's really important in the doctoral education system in France because it's, uh, the goal is to, to assess how the job is done or not done. I mean, uh, sometimes uh, when there's only uh, 
individual relation between the thesis director and uh, the PhD students. Sometimes uh, the, PhD student, the PhD student is a little bit lost and sometimes the uh, uh, thesis director is not doing his or her job uh, really correctly. So the monitoring committee is here to, to assess if the job is uh, done in time. Uh, so um, in, this, uh, in this committee, uh, you have um, a teacher, researcher from this university, from the university where is uh, registered the, the PhD student, but, but you have also uh, exterior um, members. Uh, from another university, but the, the main and the really important idea is that you don't have the doctoral, uh, the thesis director in this, money, in this uh, monitoring committee. He's uh, or she is uh, totally excluded uh, from uh, this, monitor, this uh, monitoring committee because you, the goal is to talk about uh, the, the job, uh, doctoral job done or not, uh, what is the schedule, what is uh, um, what are the, the condition of uh, working between the uh, PhD student and the uh, thesis director without him or her? So it's really important because uh, when you don't have him or her, you can uh, you can assess, you can make recommendations uh, more strongly uh, than you will be, as or than uh, you you should be, if uh, the thesis director uh, is here or not. Um, what about the duration of the PhD? In a general uh, case, it's uh, three years in full time, equi uh, equivalent devoted to, to research. If the PhD student works uh, in a company um, for founding his or her uh, PhD, he or she will have more than three years and she will have up to six years maximum. Uh, but uh, for sure, there is a derogation exceptions. In case of handicap, you can have extension uh, if you ask for this uh, more than six years. Um, for sure, there is also uh, specific cases in case of maternity, paternity, or sickness, and uh, you can have an extension to the duration of preparation of your doctorate. And there's also a possible annual extension uh, in other cases. Uh, sometimes, so, so for example, in the cesura, uh, in the cesura, you can ask for it. It's possible. It's rare in the doctoral education, but it's possible. It allows us to have a, an abrogable duration of one year maximum. Uh, it means that you do, you can't you can't ask for a six month cesura uh, this year for example and uh, um, six month uh, cesura uh, another year now it's in breakable duration it's one year maximum in uh, one year uh, one academic year uh, the PhD student have to 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 ask for this and to motivate uh, her his or her request for this and uh, the decision is uh, is taken by the, the president of the institution of the, um, the president, the director of the doctoral school. And if, uh, if we are in the CIF contract, uh, the agreement of the employer uh, is needed too. Um, the, the opinion of the thesis director is needed too, uh, for sure. And uh, it allows um, a temporary suspension of training and research work and the, this year is not counted in the duration of the thesis. Uh, and after that, after the end of uh, the cesura, the, the registration is granted. Uh, it means that you don't have to, 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 uh, to begin at the time the, the registration. It's uh, uh, as if the cesura was not done. Um, last condition and last point about the condition of obtaining. Uh, as you know, uh, there is a, a thesis defense, but uh, before this defense, before organizing this, um, we have a system based on the uh, preliminary examination. Uh, before the thesis defense, two rapporteurs, 
it's a professor or senior lecturer, assistant professor, who has to assess uh, the thesis to say, see if it's uh, the, the thesis is good enough or not uh, to be uh, defended. Uh, this uh, preliminary rapporteurs uh, have to be outside from the doctoral school, outside from the university uh, of the doctoral uh, PhD students, and um, they are nominated by the doctoral school and the university's authorities. Uh, and some cases, uh, we have uh, the possibility to have a third rapporteur uh, if uh, we have a specific uh, socio-economic needs. Uh, the preliminary reporters make reports uh, inside. They say if the, as I said before, if the job is uh, good enough or not. If uh, the PhD um, work he, he can be uh, defended or not. And this report is uh, communicated to the PhD students and to the to the other members of the jury. Um, if uh, the author authorization is, is, is uh, given, um, it's done by the head of the school, of the doctoral school, uh, after the proposal of the thesis director. And uh, after that, you have the public defense uh, with uh, uh, before dissemination of the summary of the thesis within the institution. Um, during the, the defense, uh, you have two times. Uh, first, you have the first time for the presentation of the work, of the main results of the work. And the uh, second time, you have exchanging, exchanges sorry, uh, with the, all the members of the jury. Uh, and the jury will assess the quality of the, the work, which has which been done. Um, there, there will be uh, assessment for the innovative nature of the work, the PhD ability to situate them in the scientific context, and uh, different kind of skills for the oral presentation too. And the jury will uh, say after the PhD defense, if um, there is admission or adjournment. Before, uh, a few years ago, there was a uh, uh, mentions, specific mentions. Uh, we have a congr congratulations or not, uh, a different uh, degrees of uh, admission, but now there is only two possibilities, admission or, admit or adjournment. Uh, there is not other possibilities, there is not mentions. And uh, the report, there is a report uh, written by the jury and have to, to be signed by all the members of the jury after the, the defense and communicated to the jury and to the, the PhD students. Um, last uh, thing about uh, the jury, uh, the content, uh, who, who can be a member of a jury. Um, in fact, there is a national framework about that. Uh, you have a minimum or a maximum. The minimum is four members and the maximum is eight members. But uh, inside you have to to, to, to check balance between the external, external members of the institution or the doctoral schools and uh, inside uh, of this uh, doctoral school. You have to, to check the balance between professors and other members. And it's uh, an innovation. You have to check balance between women and men. So uh, you have uh, all of these uh, cumulative conditions. So as you can see, it's not always easy to to fix uh, a jury with all these conditions. Uh, the members of jury uh, will uh, designate, designate uh, before the defense uh, a president, a chairman, uh, who will um, coordinate all the jury during uh, the, the defense and after. And uh, you have to know that the thesis director uh, can be in the jury, but he can't uh, vote uh, during uh, uh, the, 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 the jury. He can't uh, be involved in the taking decision. So it could be a surprise for some of them, but uh, he's involved in the jury, but he can't vote uh, to say if uh, the PhD student is uh, admitted or not. 
uh, well, it's uh, all what I want to, to say about the doctoral education in France. Uh, for sure, in the, in the written report, it's really more accurate than that. Uh, but if you need some uh, precision and of, uh, explanations, I, I, I'm ready for, for your questions. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Thank you very much, Guillaume, for this concise and precise presentation, a task which was not so easy during 40 minutes to present the whole system in a country, and especially like in France. So thank you very much. I'm sure that the ideas and policy mechanism options you presented will be good sources for our aspiration, because by the end of this year, we have to elaborate the rough policy paper for doctoral studies in Armenia. And of course, your uh, writing presentation and the report for more detailed report mm. with the other countries also will be available in our project uh, armdoc.com website. So uh, before uh, opening the floor for the question, according to our uh, agenda, I would like to welcome Professor Radovan Stojanovic. He is our, um, he is external expert for our project evaluation. Professor Stojanovic, thank you to be here and follow our activities. So I see the, there is a question from uh, Professor Lucine Feljan. Could you please uh, Go ahead and ask your question, please. Okay, uh, may I ask my question? Yes, please. Oh, okay, thank you for a very impressive presentation. So you went into the details of the whole system and how to boost it uh, within the framework of the state support and so on. My concern is uh, about uh, the uh, format of the funding system that we may implement um, in our country so as to support our PhD students. The problem is that uh, we have uh, the PhD students that uh, get funding as uh, in the form of the stipends uh, from uh, the government and they do not pay any kind of uh, tuition fee uh, for their education but uh, many of them have to pay for their PhD education which is you know uh, sufficient burden on the student both to work and to take care of um, the studies, uh, to make some research, and of course, it affects the quality of education. Uh, and I think that uh, we have to help our country to develop a kind of a new model that will uh, uh, encourage the institutions at least uh, to allocate uh, some funding uh, for their PhD students in case they want to have PhD education. Otherwise. Uh, when it's uh, mostly left uh, PhD students, I can't say that it will be a very good and quality uh, PhD education. The state and the government to take care of uh, the, the quality research and it has to uh, fund uh, most of the projects so as to make this research uh, quality and original. And um, from my experience, uh, can you uh, offer us a kind of new model that will help our universities to shift to maybe a new uh, system uh, where uh, this kind of free PhD education is encouraged? And I think this will be a very for our universities. If we want to have these 58,000 PhD students like in France, which is an impressive figure for your country, uh, we too are very much eager to have uh, this number, this very high number of PhD students that will later contribute to the progress of the economy and uh, the welfare of our country. And for it, we need to uh, maybe double our forces and double our efforts so as to make the system workable and viable uh, for the country where the people are lack of uh, the financial uh, support from the government, but they lack of their own. Uh, savings uh, to take care of their studies, to travel uh, to different countries uh, for quality research, to study this or that problem and so on. What would you propose to us? Or maybe this is not uh, doctoral education at all, and we should think about our local format of uh, post-graduate uh, education and name it uh, the um, National Doctoral Education Center. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
maybe I I'm not I didn't understand uh, all you all the thing you 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 say because there was a poor uh, quality connection. But whatever. Uh, if I didn't misunderstand um, your question, is how we can um, support. Um, um, the number of um, PhD students uh, for the founding. That, that's right? Yes. Okay. So I think it's, it's um, in the French system, uh, we pay a lot of attention uh, to uh, public authorities. And in the French system, uh, we, we wait a lot of things for uh, public authorities. Uh, but we can't uh, fix a system with only that. I think... Um, states and uh, public authorities has to be involved really and has to to support uh, research with uh, specific specific foundings but we can't have a system based only with uh, uh, public authorities we have to involve also companies uh, foundations associations uh, um, private uh, laboratories uh, otherwise, um, it, we don't have enough uh, foundings uh, offers uh, to, 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 to support uh, work of PhD students. I mean that uh, it's really hard to, 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 to answer uh, accurately to your question because um, what you're asking is, is what is the, 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 the perfect situation or the perfect system. I think there, there, we can't uh, have only uh, public authorities or only private companies. We have to, to, to build a system with uh, links between the both um, uh, kind of stakeholders. Uh, not only private system, not only public system, but interactions between the both. But uh, I, I totally agree with you. Uh, the, the main uh, difficulty is to, to, to find funding and to, to support financially uh, PhD students. But uh, it's important to know that uh, accepting uh, some hard sciences, we can make a PhD student without funding. Uh, for my example, I didn't have a, a grants or funding uh, system at the beginning of my thesis. Uh, I, I did it, and after with that, I funded um, grants. But uh, it's really important to to know that we can do it. We can begin begin it uh, without fundings, and it's. I think it's a it's a good thing to 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 let uh, everybody who wants to make a PhD uh, to 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 try it, even if it's not easy without funding for sure. Okay, thank you. The next question is from Nelly Minassian, please, go ahead. Uh, hi, I'm right there, but uh, I can uh, give my question. Uh, what uh, are uh, privilege, uh, privileges uh, give the doctoral degree in France, the uh, sphere of education? Uh, you, you mean uh, what kind of career I can do after? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, you mean in in uh, the academic and scientific career or in a company? Uh, in, uh, in academic and in university system. Okay. Um, in fact, it depends. Uh, after um, the, the thesis uh, defense, when you have the, the, the doctorate diploma, you have to 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 to, to candidate to a, a national uh, uh, concours. I don't uh, I don't know how to say it specifically in, in English. But uh, you have to be um, recognized by a, a national system to let us know if you have all the skills uh, to become teacher researcher in an official degree. Uh, I mean. Uh, Competitive exam. Uh, competitive exam, thanks. Uh, a competitive exam, uh, it's what we call the Conseil National des Universités, who uh, assess if in uh, our, uh, uh, our uh, doctorate or a publication or all the courses you, 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 you did, if uh, you shown that you have all the skills to become officially uh, a teacher researcher. And if the Conseil National Université 
say that uh, you have all the skills, uh, you have the, 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 the title of a teacher researcher, but after you have to, to be employed uh, by one university in particular. So I mean, uh, it's not because you it's not because you are a doctor in law, for example, that you will become teacher researcher in law. Uh, you can make you can make courses, but with uh, without uh, an official and uh, uh, with an official status, uh, you have to to follow all this uh, this path to to become a titular and official uh, teacher researcher. Um, in fact, in the academic uh, career, in the scientific career, it's more or less the the the, the main uh, job you can do in the scientific uh, career. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Next question is from Ms. Sovinar Karapetian. Please go ahead. You, 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 you need to unmute the mic microphone. Please you, unmute the microphone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How do you assess the practical importance of the PhD research and its novelties? What are the main criteria? For the practical, practical skills? Yeah. Okay, it depends, it depends on the academic field. Uh, for example, in law or in sociology, it's, uh, uh, it's a little bit uh, hard to, to assess practical aspects because uh, uh, mainly the thesis in these academic fields are theoretical point of view. Uh, but in the hard sciences, uh, it's really easier uh, to assess it because uh, uh, I'm not in this academic field, but uh, I guess that uh, in this, uh, maybe in biology or in chemistry, you have a scientific and practical points, uh, really specific. And uh, you can you can assess it. You can see if uh, the experience was not was done uh, in a, in a good manner with uh, uh, the respecting scientific criteria or not. So it depends of the academic fields. Uh, in some academic fields, it's really important to assess the practical aspects. In other ones, it's less important. It depends of the uh, theoretical dimension of the of the PhD and uh, the scientific uh, area or not. Okay, thank you. Next question is from Tatevi Gharibion, please. Tatevi, maybe it's not connected. I can read the question is... Yeah, hello, I, I'm here. Please, please. Go ahead. Uh, hello, thank you so much for the presentation. It was very interesting and informative. Uh, my question is uh, that um, you are mentioning that funding require no funding requirement, but the, uh, still uh, it is not very clear for me how state does it mean that in general uh, state doesn't give money to PhD for a PhD or does it mean that a state takes care of the PhDs and a student does not need to pay for that? And if the state takes care, how state allocates the money to the university? Does it follow to the student? Or uh, uh, and every application of um, for PhD is funded by a state, or there is a way that state allocates the money to the university according to the university's proposal. Please, could you clarify this a bit yeah, more? Sure. Uh, in, in fact, it was, was not really clear. Uh, I guess um, there is not funding requirements, which means that uh, you don't have to to. To, to have, uh, you don't have to obtain a specific funding to, to register uh, in the PhD. Uh, if you have funding, it's good. If you don't have, you can also uh, begin your, uh, your, the your PhD. Um, but in some cases, in uh, heart sciences, in medicine or in biology and chemistry, uh, in some cases, you have to obtain before a funding. So in, in a general principle, no funding requirements. But in some cases, in exception, in derogation, in some academic fields, you have to, to obtain it before, okay? But uh, uh, if there is a 
specific fundings. Uh, it could be public fundings, uh, for example, with the doctoral contract. And the doctoral contract, it's a system uh, with um, uh, fundings from the higher, higher education ministry directly to the doctoral schools uh, and directed from the doctoral school to the PhD students. Okay. Yeah. So the doctoral school applies to the um, public authority or uh, to the ministry yeah. for uh, funding the uh, student in order yeah. that the student will That's be right. Yeah. For each student, it applies to the um, ministry. Yeah. Uh, in fact, um, the doctoral school, uh, uh, the doctoral school have um, a limited number of doctoral contracts to propose, to offer. Uh, so all not the, uh, th there's not all the candidates for the doctoral uh, uh, program who obtain uh, okay. doctoral contracts. Okay. There but is a. Uh, yeah, it's very it's very competitive. Okay, and another question: uh, Does student attach to the doctoral school or the university? As far as you at the beginning, you were telling that uh, doctoral schools are associated or attached with the universities. Yeah, in fact, you have the doctoral school inside the university and the doctoral school um, welcome different uh, research laboratories, research center. So the PhD student is uh, attached to one the research center, mm -hmm. so to one doctoral school inside the one university. Uh, sorry, my last question, I'm taking a lot of floor, I know, but uh, uh, can one doctor school be attached to several universities? Several uh, universities one doctor yeah, school. Yeah, it's possible. It's square, but it's possible. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. We are approaching to the time limit and I suggest to take the last question, which is from Racha Asatrian. Please uh, go ahead. Thank you. I wrote my question, so it's... It is related to the role of the doctor school because we don't use this approach in Armenia. For instance, when the defense is ready, we are submitting the full package to the doctor school in order to accept or reject. Do you use any KPIs, I mean the doctor school, in order to accept or reject the thesis? Or how it is regulated in France? Uh, in fact, the doctoral school is, uh, is um, involved at all the steps of the doctoral program. Uh, first, for the registration. Second, for the, the all the development of the doctoral program, for the trainings, for the monitoring committee, and third and last step for the for the defense. So uh, the doctoral school is the main stakeholder of the doctoral uh, education of the doctoral system. Uh, in fact, for the PhD students, the doctoral school uh, is really the, the main actor uh, in linked with. Uh, so um, the, the role and the yeah the, the the role is really at each step of the doctoral program, and for sure the most important step is the last one uh, for the defense. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, we are. Really good time. We are managed to finish two thirty, and uh, I'm now... to interrupt. Sorry please. to interrupt. Doctor Radovan has a comment. Could you please, uh, because he raised his hand for a quite a long time and. Okay. It... Uh, thank you very much. Uh, because I had suggestion from Arai to do it after the second uh, or after the third. Uh, presentation of your excellent speakers and so on but uh, i will only uh, greet your meeting uh, first time for me i see about 150 participants in one campus uh, or, or one erasmus plus meeting do you know today even you have a high reference conference to have 150 participants from uh, 15 institutions or 16 institutions, it's great success. And I saw that is a big energy, great energy to your people to discuss about doctoral studies and so on and so on. I am, I am the man that has one vest 
and one is experience. And I only can tell you that there are several aspects when we are speaking about uh, doctoral education, as we heard from your excellent speaker from French University. Not only the aspect about, uh, about funding. The funding is, uh, let's to say, priority, but uh, also with great funding, we will not uh, succeed to achieve some academical standards for PhD education. First, you should to have quality of research. Then very important ethical issues of PhD research. Then involvement of young people. Then uh, national identity. I am not so agreed to have the standards of English language or French language and so on. We should to keep national identity of each partner. Also prehistory of, of your education because you are also coming from from these countries that had a relatively, from my point of view, because I passed this educational system, they, you, have, you had very good and very quality educational system. Now you are in transition. Try to take uh, what is good from your previous system, what is good from, from the system of, uh, of, 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 the, of, the, of the West and try to make most optimal 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 combination for your for your phd studies do not lose the credits that we did in the western balkan we had great energy in the beginning and now after several products uh, several campaigns uh, several influences of the politics and so on and so on we lost such good the energy that you have with 100 uh, with, with 150 uh, 50 people that are really interesting in this in this topic. Link with industry is not easy process. Link with the industry depends on stakeholders mode. You know you are coming from one system that had in each in each enterprise had some institute. It's it's already seen in our world, but now we are doing doing the other system or that you are doing very well and also during the monitoring of your project i will try to see your uh, holistic holistic achievement not only achieve, achievement in one in one small in one small field but i see from my uh, from my first view that you have great energy great consortium uh, and you are on the right way if you need any other questions from me any my uh, my op uh, any of my opinions i will be less to say in charge of you i wish you good and success uh, work thank you very much hey thank you professor stojanovic for your good word and uh, encouragement so at this stage we will take some a break till 3 p.m. Yerevan time and we'll start sh sharp at this 3 p.m. Thank you to everybody and uh, see you in 25 minutes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.